Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson, and welcome back to another Tech Tip Thursday. This week, I'm gonna be teaching you how to voice type in a Google Doc. This is a super handy feature that I use all the time. So let's dive in. Okay, so here I am in this Google document. Um, I've just labeled it voice typing. And if we go over here to tools, up the top, you just scroll down a few options and we have voice typing and you can also get it by uh, the shortcut command shift S. So if I go off this and I go command shift S and now this little red microphone has popped up here in the corner and it's already listening to me obviously. So we have loads of different languages available here. Um, I'm going to keep it in English, but this actually supports 119 different languages. There's quite a lot in here. Um, if you need something, it's, it's probably in there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep it on English UK for now. And if I just click the microphone, it's going to start recording. So let's get into it. Apply header. Voice typing. Capitalize. New paragraph. Voice typing is amazing, full stop. I use it almost every day at work, full stop. It's incredible for productivity because I'm not particularly fast at typing. And if I need to create long pieces of text, this is the perfect solution, full stop. I also think it's incredible for people who can't type and also those maybe who have dyslexia or something like that. Full stop. Stop listening. Okay, so there you saw how voice typing works and you saw that I did a few commands there. I put in a heading, I put in normal text and I also you know, added full stops and that kind of thing. You can also add question marks, exc exclamation marks, you can add tables and charts and everything. And I will put a link into this um, in the description, but in the Google Docs editor's help here, um, if we just search for type with your voice, you get a full breakdown of the formatting commands. So you can see here that you can do all sorts of text formatting, highlighting, font size, paragraph size, columns, lists, all that kind of thing. Um, and much, much more. So it's a pretty powerful tool, um, as you can see here. I think it's brilliant. I always use it when I'm doing long pieces of text. And I think that you guys will love it too. Some tips for using this tool is obviously to have your microphone turned on. It will not work if you have your microphone default turned off. Um, and that's really important. You can use it with an external microphone or you can use it with your own personal computer microphone. I'm obviously here on my Rode mic for this video, but it will work with any microphone. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining. That was just another Tech Tip Thursday with Damson. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a comment, please share your thoughts. Um, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. Um, we're also on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.